are you doing? When did you get here? Uh, what are you talking about? What are you doing? Why were you? Where are you hiding in the closet? Why? Because I felt like, and it was funny. You was in the shower. Anyway. Oh, that was so funny. That is not funny. Yes, oh my god. Oh, Oh, no. Come on, you know I'm sorry. No. But you already know I'm not going to let it happen to you, though. No, no, no. I don't care, no. That wasn't funny. It was funny a little bit. No, it was not funny a little bit. Okay, how about I make it up to you? I don't know. I'm surprised you. You did surprise me. I didn't <laughs> like it. Oh, my God. You did surprise me. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Tim. <laughs> So what do we have here, McCoy? We have a double homicide. Both of the victims have multiple stab wounds. The male victim was stabbed in the back, and the female victim was stabbed in the stomach. So our guys after you? That seems to be his own hope. Any witnesses? No. Nope. Any clues at all? Well, forensics out there come in the area. We have to wait to see what they find out. How can you just have no regard for human life? How can you just kill and not even have any remorse? Fortunately, it's a sick world. And our job is to lock up the bad people. What if locking them up isn't enough? Now, what do you mean? I think you know what I mean, McCoy. Well, it's thinking like that, pain. That make us no better than the people we're trying to lock up. I disagree. And what was the difference? The fact that we have a badge? What's wrong with her? She lost a partner. And the person that did it got off of the technicality. She's been better ever since. Now she should know she can't let her personal feelings get in the way of her doing her job. I lost a partner myself. Uh, everyone deal with things differently. She'll be all right. Yeah, well I hope so. Hello. What's up, chick? Hey, girl, what's up? Nothing, just waking up. Uh, it's almost one o'clock. Really? Yes. 
Well, I didn't even know. <laughs> You're such a slacker. Whatever. I'm just hungover. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> so what are you doing today? Mm, I don't have anything planned. Well, I'm gonna get myself together and come over later. Okay, well, I'll be here. Oh. oh. Are, are you alright? Oh, I'm about to throw up. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. I don't feel like going inside. Can we just go through the drive thru uh, You don't feel like Chinese? No, I don't. I just want a burger or something. Okay, have it, you. Oh, yes. Oh, we're downtown getting something to eat. I got a call from that manager from the Hooper Hotel. She's got some information about that girl that was murdered behind the hotel the other night. Well, that happened a few days ago. Uh, what makes her want to say something now? She went out of town on vacation for a couple of days or something. Look, I would go down there myself, but me and Miller, we're tied up right now. All right, we're on our way. What's going on? Well, uh, that was Jenkins. Seems like the hotel manager at the Hooper Hotel has some information about the girl that was murdered the other day. We need to get over there and talk to her. All right. Yo, where the hell you at? I've been waiting out here for like 30 minutes. And I just saw a couple cops walk around here. <sighs> Yo, this is bad business. Alright. Well, the price just went up for you being late. Well, this is something different. You know, I usually don't do your kind, but uh, money is money. <laughs> so, you want me to do you first, or you gonna do me? outside this complex where a couple has been found murdered inside their apartment. Currently, there are no witnesses or leads. We always talk about how dangerous the summer season is. 
Hey! Yeah. Brought us some drinks. Come on in. All right. Uh, half empty drinks, apparently. Whatever. We finish it all. All right, so let's bring it all home with you. Uh, any new dick in your life? <laughs> must you be so vulgar? Yes, I must be. So, any new dick in your life or no? To answer your question, no. What's, what's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. You know, I'm, I'm just not out there like that. Oh my gosh. You've got to get tired of buying batteries. I mean, or you must have a lifetime supply sitting somewhere. <laughs> oh, whatever. There's nothing like the real thing. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Who's that? Mm, I get news alerts on my phone. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my god, you're so lame. Uh, have you not been watching the news? Uh, no. There have been 45 homicides this summer already. It's scary out here. People die somewhere. It's a part of life. So, what are we eating? Mm -hmm. I want some Chinese food. All right, Chinese food it is. This is Patricia Vance. I'm actually preparing to go on vacation. Yeah, I'll be gone for two weeks. Okay, send the information into my office and I'll contact you when I get back. No, I'm not looking into any cases until I get back. Just send it in and I'll have my assistant take care of it, okay? All right, and I'll call you when I get back. Okay, have a good day. It's about time you got here. I'm sorry, the traffic was crazy. Ah, uh, save the excuses, I don't wanna hear them. Just come in. It's hot outside and you let down my air. All right, well, I'm about to finish packing. Make me a cup of coffee. I made some, but it's not good. Okay, thank you. two weeks so you make sure you water the plants take out the trash and just clean up after yourself all right oh and while i'm gone i'm not going to be answering my phone so make sure you take all of my messages that's what i do every day excuse me nothing um where are you going on vacation again i'm going to the bahamas okay. after all of these successful case wins i need a break have fun i will you just make sure you take care of my house Interrupt this program to bring you breaking news. 
criminal defense attorney Patricia Vance has been found strangled to death in her car outside of her home. Ms. Vance gained notoriety for the release of Roman Rollins after he was accused of killing police detective George Sanders six months ago. Sources say Ms. Vance was preparing to go on vacation to the Bahamas while her assistant stayed behind to watch the house. The assistant stated she came outside and discovered Ms. Vance slumped over in the driver's seat. We will keep you updated on this story as further details develop. Hey, Payne. How you doing? Okay, I take it you haven't watched the news yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. You remember Patricia Vance, right? Of course I know who she is. It's because of her that my partner's killer got off. Right. Well, apparently she was found dead in her car, right in front of her house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They say she was trying to death. That's pretty much all the information they gave us. Yeah, I just want to give you that info. Okay. Yeah, I hate to be the barrier of bad news. Or good news. But, um, me and Jenkins gotta get back to this case, though. I guess I'll talk to you later. Alright. Where are you going to go? You know I don't do clubs. Well, we don't have to go to the club. We can just hit up a bar or a lounge or something. Okay, that's cool. But I just need to hop in the shower and pick out an outfit to wear. Ooh, wear something nice and sexy. <laughs> something that's going to show off those ass and titties that you have. Whatever. <laughs> oh, we're going to find you a man, honey. I don't need a man, Brie. But are you into chicks now? No, I'm not into chicks. Well, I'm not judging, I'm just asking. <laughs> <sighs> well, it's 2017. You never know what people are into these days. I mean, I can't say I've never been with a chick before. What did you just say? Oh, nothing. Anyway, I'm about to hop in the shower. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm not. What's wrong? Need help. Okay. I got you. Get you to a hospital. It's a hospital and not too far from here. Okay. How long have you been walking over? Definitely not safe to be out here by yourself. When did you start doing that? Recently. Well, you know that's not good for you, right? Really? I didn't know. How are you holding up? I guess uh, as good as a person whose parents were murdered can. 
I'm not good at coming up with the right words to say in situations like this. Your father and I were partners for a long time. I looked at him like a brother in a way, so I guess that makes you my niece. If you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. Listen, Summer. You've experienced an extremely traumatic event. Now, my biggest concerns are your coping mechanisms. Now some people choose to cope with alcohol, drugs, sex, whatever. Now none of these coping mechanisms are healthy. But my biggest concern is some people tend to lash out in these situations. They can sometimes manifest into violent outbursts. Detective Payne, there's someone in my house trying to kill me. Yes, yes, I lock myself in the bathroom, but I hear him coming. Please hurry. Okay. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Let me check out this bathroom. Okay.